Baby duck, can you see now better? Here, one second, I gotta drink a little more. I'm good. You good? I'm good. <laughs> Look at the baby duck. Hey everyone, we are Nicole and Miko. If you caught our last video, you saw us exploring the action-packed town of Mwabwa, but since then we have made our way to Cebu City, which is sadly one of our last stops here in the Philippines. To go out with a bang, we decided to embark on another self-led Filipino food tour. But don't think for a moment that there will be any less action than canyoneering in Mwabwa. Today's foods that we're looking for are definitely going to be challenging us. So for tonight's food tour, we have decided to come to the largest outdoor market, I think, in all of Cebu. It's called Carbon Market. And I won't lie, I'm a little bit nervous about this uh, this food tour because I think today, like, we plan to uh, to try lots of foods that, like, I think for me are going to be really different. Like, they're made with lots of ingredients that I'm not used to eating. Oh, you know, they're, they're made from the same ingredients you've been eating. Are they though? <laughs> Just the different parts of yeah, those ingredients. <laughs> parts of the ingredients that I'm not used to eating. So honestly, I'm a little nervous. We really want to try balot, which is like a Filipino classic. Something I have never had and must try, especially because I'm married to a Filipino. So I really do need to try it. Um, but I won't lie, I'm, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty nervous Today about it. Today is the day Nicole gets inaugurated <laughs> fully. <laughs> into Filipino culture. The first time, first half of it is when she married me. The second half of it is when she tries the balloon. Oh man. I'm not, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm not gonna lie. Chicken feet before. <laughs> what is this? What is this one? Head of chicken. Oh, it's chicken. chicken? <laughs> Do we have to try that now too? Head of chicken? I think maybe we should try it. Is it good? Is it tasty? Tastes good. There's, there's chicken heads here along with the chicken feet. <laughs> chicken feet and chicken heads. Yeah, add one. One yeah. head chicken heads. Yeah. yeah. What did you say? Like, the name? Olo. Olo. Okay. Oh, yeah. Olo. That's head. That's the olo. Oh yeah? Yeah, no needs head. Ah, olo. What's yeah. chicken again? Manok. Manok olo. <laughs> I mean, we've had chicken before, right? So it's all the same thing. It's just different parts of the chicken. Speak for yourself. I'm terrified. <laughs> this barbecue is kind of cool. He's just got all the raw foods out in front of the stall, and you just pick which food you want, and they just cook it right in front of you. What's your name? Nicole. And this is Miko. Your name? Yorel, nice to meet you. Do I start at the head or the feet? <laughs> the head. Oh gosh. You can't even tell it's chicken head anymore. Okay, you can't tell it's chicken head. It's just one green. Looks cooked enough. Yeah, she cooked it for a long time, which I'm really grateful for, because uh, I'm nervous. Like it's like sitting on meat sitting on the street, right? Wow, I'm pretty sure that's its eyeball. Do you see that? Pretty sure that's a chicken eyeball. I got this. I got this. It's fine. It's just chicken. It's just chicken. Oh, Ooh, it's a weird consistency. <laughs> oh. Mm. I don't know if I like it. <laughs> oh man, that was kind of trippy. I think. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh yes. I don't think I could do this. <laughs> This is messing with my head a little too much. <laughs> okay, so I just need chicken brain, and I think the consensus is it's really, it's really soft, too soft for me. <laughs> Can we just give some early round of applause for Nicole right now? I don't think we're even gonna make it to Bullet just because we're starting at chicken brain right now. But oh my god, this is like <laughs> I think a she's line. doing awesome. Hey, <laughs> bye. There's something there that's not. It's, They're normal meat. It's very, very like gooey and soft. Mm -hmm. We're really starting strong here, guys. There you go. That one's, that's gotta be easier. This has gotta be easier, right? Yeah, this is easier. There's no brain. Mmm, that's good. Tastes like wing. 
Mm. Honestly, it tastes exactly like chicken wing. Mm. Mm. They declawed them. Mm. Yeah, they declawed them so they're not sharp. But you still shouldn't eat the bottoms, I've heard. Mm. Because that's like, that's like where they, uh, you know, pick at the ground. Ooh. You want like the meaty part near the upper part of the foot. That's actually really good. Yeah, it's good, right? It tastes, like tastes like chicken wing. Tastes like a chicken wing. Yeah, it's kind of nice when there's no brain in here. Mm -hmm. I didn't like that. <laughs> I will never have chicken head again. <laughs> Everybody, we have made a critical error. So today is a weekday and apparently the night market only happens on weekends. We're like walking around and we're like, man, I feel like it'll be busier, like there'd be more stalls, more stalls? with different foods. Cause there's like lots of barbecue, but that's kind of it. Yeah, that's cause it's a weekday. Okay, so through the power of YouTube, we are gonna fast forward a few days until it's the weekend. See you there. <laughs> Lechon. It's a very, very popular food here in the Philippines. It's not something you'll see every day because this is usually reserved for very special occasions like a birthday or like an anniversary or a big party. So lechon is like almost like roasted whole pig, like usually on a spit over a fire. And what you get is um, a very tasty pork piece, especially the outside. The skin is like stiff and hard. It cracks. It's like crispy. us a bag that is how you eat this I have zero idea how you open this but this is rice <laughs> never open one of these <laughs> kind of cool right wrapped up in leaves it's a lot of rice okay this is like the famous part of the chun the crispy skin wow oh my god that is like wow that's like the skin from KFC chicken but like eight times thicker I'm so delicious. Oh my god, that's so good. Let's have some rice with like the meat chunk. The main bit. <gasps> Very good. Mm. It's like really flavorful. This is the kind of flavor though that like, because I'm not a huge meat lover, I would get tired after a little while of it. But it is excellent. Maybe I'll just have some more skin. <laughs> she said it's pig blood and it's boiled. It's called Dineguan. Mika said I have to try it. Okay, so immediately what I noticed is that there's a lot of chunks. That kind of weirds me out for the vlog. <laughs>
I just taste like cheese. <laughs> I don't taste anything underneath there. It's kind of sweet. Very cheesy. So la mig. We were taught that la mig means delicious in Cebuano. All right, okay, it's good, but I still don't think I can eat anymore. <laughs> Tuna, oh yeah, it's tuna jaw. So I think we're gonna get one. I think maybe it gets barbecue. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I don't really know how we're supposed to eat this. It's literally just like on a plate in a bag. So after like cooking it on the barbecue there, they like glazed it with this red sauce. And I was like, what is that interesting looking sauce? And they're like, it's ketchup. <laughs> I don't understand really how we're supposed to eat it. Do you think you just like bite it up? Just bite it, yeah. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll go. I don't know why they call it. Um, it's really fishy. I, I don't know why, like, what in particular about the jaw of the tuna is like a delicacy here. But it smells like just like fried fish. Fish bones. With fish bones. Yeah. Try some. I'm telling you if it's different to you than like other fishes you eat. I love the. The barbecue mm. taste to it, like the that has been cooked over charcoal and grilled, and the glaze. This is a, it's delicious, really, really good. Wow, you're gonna be full after this. <laughs> I guess I'm eating this one too. This is actually a really cool night market. I really like it because like all of the shops are like in one row. It's really easy to see and find, and like you can't get lost. And then on top of that, they actually have seating, so like you do have places to sit. You don't have to stand at me always. Although to be fair, seats are becoming hard to come by. I think the live music is about to start, so it's getting even busier in here. All right, we're getting a great mango gram shake. Apparently, it's like specific to here in Cebu. Um, so it's got like this mango fruit shake, and then there's gram like gram cracker crumbs on it or through it. I think. I guess we'll find out. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Not fish. <laughs> so, I mean, let's be honest, this one was really for me because I really wanted fruit. <laughs> How good does that look? They like layered it. Yeah, they layered the graham crackers part way through and then again on the top and then they topped it off with more mango. Mmm. Oh my god, it's so good. There's tons of fresh mango in there. And then she blended up like a bunch of ice with it. Well, that's delicious. Won't lie, this is the favorite thing I've had tonight. <laughs> Pretty sure it didn't go on and chicken's head. It's probably a close <laughs> second and third though, right? <laughs> you some? Wow, fresh mango. Mm -hmm. That's really Philippines good. Mango. Philippines mango, which is some of the best mango in the world. Probably the best mango in the world. We're biased. But I'm biased. <laughs> We're biased. <laughs> This is a winner. This is a winner for me. <laughs> Chocolate or red Thank you. On the social media post of the day. <laughs> Managed to find a couple of different desserts. Just because Nicole was on a sweet binge <laughs> after she tasted that mango. Let's be honest, this is the reason I came. Dessert. Ooh, it's leche flan. I don't think I've ever had Filipino leche flan. Yeah, I don't think so either. Right? That's leche flan is like a very famous Filipino dessert. You often wow. find this in like lots of Filipino parties. It's usually like sweetness, sugary overload. It is sugar overload. <laughs> I feel like it's um, made with corn syrup. It tastes like corn syrup to me. Is that what it is? Oh my god. It's so good though. Wow. Sweet. This is a puto. It's like a nice little, like small, tiny sweet snack. Well, small, I mean, it's pretty big, but. I think sometimes you get it with uh, like fresh coconut shavings on top too. Uh, that's, that's my favorite that's one. Really yeah. Really good. Not as sweet as the electric plan. Mm -mm. To be honest, they pair really well together. Yeah. Because the electric plan is so sweet. And this is much more like calm, chill, mm -hmm. cheesy. in like the main part of the market. So we're having to head to the street. I think literally one street over we might get lucky and find it, but like we have to find it, right? How much for what? It's your first time trying. <laughs> I won't lie, this is like, I have been not looking forward to this ever since we got to the Philippines. Cause I know I have to try, like I have to try. I'm not super stoked about it. It's warm though, that's a good start. 
how do I eat? <laughs> no, crack the egg. Crack? Yeah. On here? No. Crack? Yeah. Uh, crack here. it up yeah. and then drink. Yeah. Okay, and then peel mm. and eat? Yeah. Okay. Do I use vinegar? Yeah, vinegar. Ah, and salt. vinegar and, and salt. How do, how do I crack the top without breaking the egg? With my finger? Yeah, how do you do? Ah, with my finger. Amazing. Love it. Okay. Oh boy. That's a baby duck. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh wow, look at that. Hey, like, drink, the soup. drink the soup first, yeah. okay. What is all, oh, it doesn't look too bad. It doesn't, do you see that part? Oh, <laughs> I'm good. You good? I'm good. <laughs> look at the baby duck. <laughs> Alright, now peel? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Ooh, okay, there's like a skinny thing. Oh my. I mean, it kind of looks like brain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It kind of looks like brain. <laughs> the whole thing is okay yeah. to eat? Yeah. Yeah, now we, we got a couple, couple guys on yeah. the watch. <laughs> <laughs> but we have, I need help. I don't really know how to do this. Should I put salt? Yeah. Salt now? That's the baby dog. Oh, he's down there in the dark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo. What about the beak? The beak? Oh. Is it in here? <laughs> is it hard? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're more excited than me. Now, now you got a, like a whole crowd now. Yeah, well, people. So salt though? Yeah, salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar. Okay, I won't lie. I'm gonna do like anything to uh, try to mask the taste of baby duck. Vinegar? Sing out. Yeah. yeah. Look at this. Though. Wait, come look at this. This is like properly duck feathers. Do you see that? This dark part. I'm not sure I'm gonna get that low. 16 days. Okay, ready? Yeah. Doing it. Uh, yummy. Oh. <laughs> Try. Mm, yummy. That food's a vinegar. In the top. Yeah. Add vinegar. Oh, vinegar. Okay. I'm <laughs> um, yummy. It's a little gooey. I taste yolk though, like normal egg yolk, which is really nice. With the feathers! <laughs> I don't know about the feathers! Yeah, you feel embarrassed! <laughs> He's doing oh, really good. Man. good! Okay, I think bite number two is in order. Oh! Ah, so that's the part I don't eat. Yeah, you said don't eat that. Goodbye. Do I have to eat the whole thing? Okay. How to digest your stomach. Yeah, I see why. Okay. Oh, Look at that. Okay. It looks kind of strange, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wow, yeah. Oh. Yeah. The vinegar helps. Okay. Not bad. It's not bad. Okay, what do you guys think? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Okay. <laughs> I see. I understand. Okay. I got you. He, he's talking about how it's tradition for a newly married man to eat balut on his wedding night because it can be an aphrodisiac. So they say. Well, it sounds like every night. <laughs> oh, or every night. <laughs> you want to try? Go to bed. No. <laughs> you have to try. Oh, sweet. Oh. <laughs> We got the approval from everybody uh -huh. here that we did it right. Thank you very happy, guys. Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. <laughs> guys, Nicole did amazing. She made me super proud as a Filipino today. Thank you. Honorary Filipino over here, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We have got some really exciting news coming up in the next video, so make sure that you hit subscribe, and uh, we'll catch you there. Thanks for watching. Miko's like, maybe we should just come back on the weekday and we'll like redo the whole video. And I'm like, you want me to eat chicken brain again? Like, there is no chance that I am re-eating that so you guys can see it again. 100% no. So, we'll see you on Friday. <laughs>